Hey Dan, it's Mark Caputo. Hey. All right, so, so you won't answer answer me publicly. So, what did she get her wrong in her story? Well, Mark, I'll be honest with you, we could have cleared this up from minute one when I told you. Okay, but you didn't give me your number. You gave me your number now. So now we're clearing this up. What did she get wrong in her story? Her story, her initial tweet, which is what you asked me about. I didn't ask you about her initial tweet. I asked you about the story it was connected to. What was the Mark. the story? What Mark. was wrong with that? Mark. Yes. You want an answer? I want an answer to the question, and you're not answering the question. You asked me what the Naples Daily News was being dishonest about in response to my propaganda tweet. And your propaganda... Don't rewrite what happened. And your propaganda yeah. tweet was in relation to what she wrote today. <laughs> was it not? What, know, was it connected to it? By I'm not trying to be slick. Dan, I'm at, okay, so today's story, what was wrong in today's story? I said the story seemed pretty cut and dry or simple. What was wrong in it? Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to find it. You want to know their track, their track record of dishonesty in my campaign? Or you want to miss Because I can point out individual lines there, too. You want me to send you screenshots of the emails we sent to them, giving them the donor information that Alex asked for? What did she write the story today? Oh, we didn't reply. Really? You want screenshots of that? Sure. How I don't know why you didn't do that to me before, but... Yeah, you know, because, Mark, here's what's happening. And what, how you're immune to this, I don't get. I mean, you can't... You're not... You can't be this naive. They tweeted out a... a Alex, a long time ago, tweeted out a story about me, and it's just one of many. They he only has one additional donor because she's incapable of reading an NBC report. That is a wholly inaccurate story. We have Now, we happen to have small donors, unlike Francis Green, who is a billionaire. He's got his own big donors. Our small donors donate small amounts, some, because they don't want people to know who they are. We know who they are. So you're not giving the... Wait a minute. So you're not giving the Naples Daily News the, the, the names? Wait, 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 wait. You need to climb out and listen to what I'm telling but you. But you need to That's answer the question, Dan, and I don't think you're doing it. So... So, like I'll here's like so for instance here's what I just so you know just to clear this up I said hey where's the propaganda here it seems like a pretty straightforward story I'm right, clearly the referring story. to the story and now you're saying I was referring to the tweet and I wasn't No Mark that's not the case you asked me where these guys had gone wrong and what the propaganda was in response to Aaron I said, uh, hold on. I said, I said, I said, it, I, I just, but I said a pretty straightforward story. Did I not? I have to go back to the tweet. Well, I'm reading it to you right now, so you got to trust me. What, how did it start? Tell me how this started. Hey, Dan Bongino, what's in your campaign receipts? Asks, asks Eric Sarkisian, and he connects it to a story. So I read the story. I'm like, eh? And then you respond, hey, my campaign is full of passionate small donors who despise uh, the Naples Daily News and the propagandists working there. And so I said, okay, where's the propaganda here? It seems like a pretty straightforward story. Okay, okay. You, you don't understand the story is, is the pinnacle of a series of narratives the Naples Daily News put out. Yeah, but, but the, what? I already said this. No, but Dan, Dan, listen, the, you're, not, you're not making sense here, because I'm clearly referring to the story, and then you refuse to answer and start talking about some tweet, which had nothing to do with that question. Hold on, wait, if, if I can. What, if I can. If I, if I can, I, you can't understand because you're not listening. So. No, I assure you, I hear exactly, and I know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to get you to answer a question which you refuse to do. What's the question? What's the question? Where's the propaganda here? It seems like a pretty straightforward story. You, you, hold on, you didn't even let me finish. You asked me the question. I know you're angry, Dan. I understand that. I, yes, you are. That's why you blocked me on Twitter. You're angry that I, I've just asked a simple question. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, but again, I asked you a simple question about the propaganda here in this story. And I, I'm not getting you not answering the question. That's what I don't get. I don't get why you can't answer the question. You're just going to keep talking. Because you just not stop. It's like verbal diarrhea. They call this a word salad in graduate school. You're studying psychopathology. Okay, well, slow down and listen. 
and maybe you'll get the answer. No, do me a favor. Answer my question first, and then you can continue with your slurs and insults. Where? Okay. So where in the story, where in the story is there propaganda? Let me ask the question. I'll handle the questions, and you handle the answers, okay? Because that's what this is about. Why are you yelling, Dan? Don't get so angry. Oh, now you're swearing. Good Lord. So again, I'll handle the questions. I'll handle the questions and you handle the answers. Okay, you're still not answering the question. We've been on the phone now. Okay, you're gonna are you gonna interrupt me? Answer your question. Where's the propaganda here in this story? It seems pretty straightforward. Again, for the fifteenth time, we do not have one donor in the district and we have that's not in that story he's linking to. You're not answering my question about that story. You're, Mark, you're not interested in it. You're a total bullshit artist with zero credibility. You, you're, really, you're really angry and you're swearing, Dan. You shouldn't get so angry. Why don't you just answer the question and be honest about things? Because you're not answering my question. You're inventing a different question. You don't see. See, here's the problem. The, the problem is you're screaming, you're swearing, and you're throwing around these terms. That's the problem. And now that you've been called in your hackery, you're embarrassed. Uh, no. No, no, you're embarrassed because you can't answer the question. You can't answer the question. So you, you, just to clarify, in this story, in this story, you can't point to any, any propaganda or error. We have communicated this information okay. to the Naples Daily News, to which I just replied to you, I have actually and you're still what in is okay? Session. Tell me. Hold on. Let me look at my email while we're on the phone. Okay, you claim you just replied to me, but I don't have this email. So now, once again, you're telling me something that's just not checking out, Dan. You're just you're not being straightforward with me. Now I understand if you've got a problem with other stories. I'm send you this email because okay, your IQ level is not high enough. Wow, you. I mean, to comprehend what I'm telling you. I'm, so I'm, I'm smart it. enough to know when someone can't answer the question and has to start yes. throwing around terms. And slurs and swearing and raising his voice. I'm under. I understand that. Oh, oh, Dad, you're so angry. Why are you so angry? Let me tell you something. My entire following has been developed feeding on people like you who try bullshit like this with me. You're really an angry. I mean, you're really, really. Well, it sounds like I'm hurting you because you're because you're yelling and you're. You're swearing at me, Dan? Okay, listen. Okay, so... You're a loser. You're, you're, you write for a loser paper. Nobody cares. You lie about me. You got... Caught. What lie did I say about you? And my audience is far bigger than yours. And frankly, I'm worried if my... Listen, we're, uh, we're all very... Im- I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed that you have a big audience and you need to brag about that. Because you know, both of us got paid in a private life this, I don't anymore, will be if I don't win. Well, it but seems... Far smaller than mine. It seems like you get so, paid... It seems like you get paid to campaign, like you drop $1,200 at Outback Steakhouse. Are you, yeah, are, you living, are you living... Are you living off of your campaign donations? For my campaign. No, I actually but, don't do New York Times best-selling books, unlike you. Well, it looks like... I mean, it looks like you're like a professional candidate. Like, so you, you ran and lost in Maryland. Yeah. Then you went to go run oh, another house seat. You did you, did you lose in Maryland? How many times did you lose in Maryland? How many times did you lose in Maryland? You're not going to answer that question either? Are you going to answer that question? Are you going to answer that question? Are you going to answer that question? Are you going to answer the question? That's from a presidential campaign. That's you. All right. That's from a presidential campaign chief of staff. I kid you not. Caputo's an asshole. That's your reputation. All right, great. So, again... How many races did you lose in Maryland? I lost two. How many have you run in? And then how many times... And now you're running for... You're running for... You're running for 19. You don't have the balls to do it yourself. You're running for... Wait, but I don't have the balls. I don't have the balls to, to run losing campaigns and then to live off the campaign money? I guess not. You talk about people inside the boxes will never get in yourself. And then you write lies about them. 
you, you still haven't specified what the lie is. You don't live it. You're the very definition of a loser. You're a loser. You're a life's loser. You write about what other people do. Okay, so, You've and never how many, done what I've done. Okay, so, the Secret Service would laugh at a guy like you. Well, I mean, you did, book, you, did, you, did leave the, you did leave the ser Secret Service under strange circumstances, right? Yeah, that's right. I was 56 out of 56, right? The perfect score. I also put a blog piece out publishing my departure notice. Dan Bongino was an exceptional... Oh, you missed that one, too, you loser? You are such a... You're <laughs> Dude, such you're a so, You're so angry. Dan, you're so angry because you're not answering the question. So listen, you lost two house races you know, in Maryland. I'm angry because... You, you, you moved lie, down to... You're not capable of answering... You, you, you're not capable of... I am. Uh, you, we've already established that you... We've already established you're not going to answer the question concerning what was wrong in Mark, this story specifically. I am going We've to established humiliate that. you from this point. You are now chapter four of my book, and unlike you people... All right, great. Stuff, do me, do me a favor. My, my life, first name, spell it with a C, C if you don't mind. Conversation, okay. And I'm going to make you an example. You will regret the day we had this conversation. With you. Okay, like I, will, I will, I will, I will, I... If you want to threaten I me, if you want to threaten threaten me and swear at me, you're free yeah, to do that. I promise you. Okay. You will rue the day you lied about me. Because I, I didn't lie about you, Dan. You haven't said what the lie is. You're a liar. What is the you lie? You are a liar. What's the lie? You're nothing but a liar. What's the lie? Journalist. Okay. What's the lie? You got nothing. What's the lie? I told you what the story What's the was. lie? I told you how it was a lie. And you can't accept... No, you didn't. You didn't say what the lie was. Dan, you really... You can't accept the quote again that Caputo is an asshole. And I quote, always. Uh, he thinks he is part of the story to ignore this loser. I, I can ex I can accept the fact that people are critical of me. It seems like you're unable to accept the no, fact that people, people ask general questions. They think you're an asshole. That's different. Well, I would say that's they critical. You're an I mean, asshole. Well, maybe they in your world that's not critical, I guess. Yeah. And which you're, I mean, didn't Hannity embarrass you on Twitter, too? Well, uh, there are remember, other people who think otherwise, but if you yeah, I remember listen, he regretted it too because we think to ourselves all the time, like, why would a guy with a following like me mention a hack like you and give you followers? That's what I always okay. debate. Okay, I always debate that. Like, should I give this guy a following? And the answer is no. I really shouldn't. But given that you're such a hack and such a liar. I think sometimes I have to make an example out of people. I'm so gonna okay, so you're going to win this race because you're a winner, right? Yeah, you know what, Mark? What if I you lose? Well, this will race. be your third race and in a row. Third race in a row in two wow. states, you lose, right? You know, seriously, your third race. Your third race in a row. So I look at you and I'm embarrassed. Your third. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you were that kid who was beat yeah. up a lot in high school, right? Oh, you'd be surprised. So because we used to get guys like you in the Secret Service, and we'd have to fire them because they were so pathetic. I usually go into journalism. So you can't take it. Can't, oh, it hurts, doesn't it? Oh, I know it hurts. Well, no, I'm not the one. I'm not the one swearing and being angry. So let's say you're going to lose yeah, this race as well, hurts. right? Because you sound angry. I know. You sound so Brother, angry. I know. About it. I get it. I feel your pain, man. All right. I know. One of these days you'll get a real job, and people may read your stuff. I understand. So. So if you lose this race, it'll be your third race in a row you lost, right? But it'll be the fifth race you examined running in, correct? Oh, wait, hold on. I, oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I hit the... I'm sorry. I hit the, the mute button by mistake. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Say that again. Yeah, you're such a character, brother. Okay, so it'll, if you lose this race, but... To run yourself. All you do is write about people. Cojones. Like Boy, you, you know, let's see. Cojones, shit, fuck. No, I mean, you're, I you do you normally swear at people like this just when they ask you thing. simple questions? Just so you so know. So let's, let's. I don't give you consent. Okay, just let's, let me repeat that. So let's. So I can sue your ass when you do that. Okay. okay. So you're threatening me again. I understand. You're so still you acting out. No, because, no, because you're an idiot. You don't understand <laughs> the legal rules. All right. You so, have to ask someone to record them. You don't. But you're not smart enough because, again, you have an IQ issue. So I, I please record that and publish it so I can sue you because I don't give you. No, I told I told you. No, no, I told you I was recording in writing. Oh, well, you please do. Nobody reads your stuff anyway. Why All right, good. Why would I get on the phone with you if I actually cared? All right, good. So Why, seriously, so what, do you think you're going to hurt my campaign? Ba back to no. I don't think I'm going to hurt your campaign because it sounds like you're losing, Dan. It sounds like you're hurting your own campaign. No, 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 smart. And my life doesn't revolve around politics. That's why you've run for. That's why you've run for three offices in a row, Dan. It sounds like they do. You, I have an actual life and a job. I'm not a loser like you. So, so why are you run, why are you running for why are you running for an office in a city you don't live in, in a county you don't live in, in district you don't live in, or you're not a registered voter in? You don't own property yeah, there. That's against the 
Can you quote me that rule? Or you have to do that? Oh, you can't. Again, because you're not smart enough. I'm okay, sorry. so you don't you, you don't, don't know you, the rule. you you don't actually you're have not about politics, right? You're not a registered you're voter in the writer, district, right? You're not a registered voter Wait, in the Mark, district. You, you do, you're right about politics. Are right? you a registered you voter in the district? Oh, you don't know the rules. No. You're You're not. You're not a registered voter in the district. So let's see. You move down to Florida after losing two campaigns in Maryland. You say you're going to stay in Maryland and fight. You tuck tail, run away to Florida. You go look to run in District 18. You see you're not going to be able to win there. You try to run in District 19. You're losing there. You're like a professional political candidate who loses, Dan. You just because lose. You have no idea why I moved to Florida. You, I, I know you moved here and, and you it, wanted to it, run for. You up, wanted to run. For, oh, Dad! You see, why are you yelling now? Go fuck yourself. Oh, Dad! Dad, is that is that like an offer or something? Is that an offer? Motherfucker! <laughs> you shut your mouth? <laughs> you fucking coward! Hey, Dad, do me a favor. I'll Don't handle the questions and you handle the answers. I'm not just just hey, calm down. You. Oh, Dan. You really sound like you need some help. I think hey, you need some help. Fuck yourself. Okay. You hear me? Do you realize you sound like you need medication? You don't know why. And let me tell you. You sound something. like you need medication, Dan. Do you, do you need? You, maybe you need some professional help. You have no idea. Shut the fuck up. I'm I, think no I think you need don't professional help. I think you need professional help. Fuck yourself. You don't know why I'm in Florida. I know you're in Florida running a race and that you're losing in it by your attitude because you're swearing and hey, acting out. Fuck you. And I also know that you looked at running in another district and you knew you couldn't fuck win there either. You. Hey, listen to so me. So let's see. Let's three. I'm going to expose you now. Okay. And when I tell everybody the real reason I'm down here, I'm going to expose your fucking ass even more. All right. You, you, oh you're, you're, you're free to do that. And you can continue fuck to threaten. You can continue to threaten me if, you, if you'd like. You're a piece of shit. Because okay. you're a lying scumbag. And it's people like you. You haven't even established where I lied. We've already established in the record where you've lied. Yeah, and now you're acting fuck, out and you're not swearing. A piece of shit. You know what? Go fuck yourself. All right. Well, you hung up on me. <laughs>